video in today's video i will show you how to do sign in with apple uh, in native ios app so yeah let's get started so first of all i will show you guys uh, the output so once you click on sign in in uh, with apple uh, here you will see that uh, you will get the name uh, the user will get the name email like whether he wants to share his email or whether he wants to hide his email also he can edit his email as well like if he clicks on the x button he can edit his first name and last name so be careful with uh, what you get so it's not necessary that you will get always get the right name you might even get null also uh, one more thing to highlight is that uh, the email can be ex exactly different so suppose my apple id is abc at gmail.com but while uh, giving it to you i will hide that email so uh, it might come completely different uh, once you get the output uh, that's the one thing the second thing is that uh, uh, suppose uh, i have a freshly installed app i click on app uh, sign in with apple you will get the email id first name last name everything but once you do it second time uh, you won't get the first name last name i will show you in the code what all things you will get uh, so yeah be extremely careful with that uh, during the first sign in itself you will have to store the first name and last name uh, and you can't log out uh, so there is no logout functionality so the user have to explicitly either remove your app or he will have to go to settings and remove uh, sign out uh, from your app something like that but there as far as i know as of today there is no uh, sign out functionality for uh, sign in with apple so what i have done is that first of all i have created a pod file for our uh, native ios project and inside uh, sorry i have not created a pod file but i have included a package dependency called jwt decode using swift package manager but if you are using cocoa Bots, you can use that as well so here you can see you can just search for jwt decode swift and you will find how to import this dependency next inside view controller i have imported these two things and we are extending as authorization controller delegate as well as as authorization controller presentation context providing next i have created our sign in button and i am placing it at the center of the screen and i have added one click listener to this so once you click on it i am requesting the full name and email if you want some other thing you can request that as well and this is like boilerplate code which you have to perform to show that model and these are like overridden methods so first for this you just have to provide the window uh, this is for any kind of failure so here you will get a callback and this is uh, when it is successful so here once you sign in you will get the id and token so id and token you will get every time depending on uh, like ir irrespective of whether you are signing it for the first time or second time and depending on the token here i am extracting uh, the email as well okay so you can do that and the first name last name and email uh, you will get this only on the first time so email you can also get from the token so you this all things you will only get for the first time so be sure you save it somewhere safe like on your server or locally wherever you want to you won't get it for the second time okay and yeah that's it so here is the output so this is how the id looks like this is how uh, the decoded token looks like uh, and this is the decoded email and this is my first name last name and this is the email so this can be null uh, for the uh, second time uh, from second time this can be null for first time as well in case the user tries to hide his email or does not want to provide first name or last name so be extremely careful with this so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye